Galapagos Girl, written by Marcia Diane Arnold, illustrated by Angela Dominguez, read by Miss Tyler, using Epic. Valentina was born on an island formed by fire, surrounded by blue-green sea. Sea lions splashed their greetings. Blue-footed boobies danced. Iguanas saluted from a lava bridge. Welcome, Galapagos girl, they seemed to say. Bienvenida, Galapaguena, echoed papa, mamá, and eleven brothers and sisters. On Florina, one of many Galapagos islands, Valentina spent her days exploring. She scampered over lava rocks with Sally Lightfoot crabs. She swam with manta rays, dolphins, and here on the warm equator, a surprise. Penguins! Valentina watched pink flamingos wading near mangroves, blue butterflies fluttering on the breeze. Red and green iguanas sneezing salt like tiny geysers. She listened to waves crashing like cymbals against rocks, albatross trumpeting above steep cliffs, finches trilling piccolo notes. And every day she danced bopping up and down with lava lizards, stamping her feet with blue-footed boobies, twirling pirouettes with sea lions. One day, as Valentina fed fallen plums to the family's tortoises, Papa told their story. A friend gave me Carlitos and Isabella when I moved to Florena. They were so small I could carry one in each pocket, Giant tortoises still live on some Galapagos islands, but on Florena, pirates and whalers took them all for food. How sad, said Valentina. Many Galapagos animals are in danger, said Papa, threatened by other animals that don't belong here, threatened by people who don't understand how to care for our islands. I will help keep them safe, Valentina promised. The time came when Valentina had to leave for Lena to go far away to a new school. But Mama, she protested, I am a Galapagos girl. I belong here with the sea lions and penguins. You are ready to learn about the world beyond, said Mama. Like the sea, you are strong and free. And like our islands, you have a heart full of fire, said Papa. When Valentina sailed away from Florena, she made a promise to the animals and her islands. I will not forget you, she said, and I will help keep you safe. On school holidays, Valentina returned to the Galapagos. She camped on remote islands to learn about birds, insects, reptiles, fish, and mammals. She studied in the wild and at school. Valentina became a biologist. She came home to be a nature guide and share her love of the Galapagos with visitors from the world beyond. She taught them to see brilliant colors, listen to the enchanting sounds of the islands, and swim with manta rays, dolphins, and... Sí, pingüenos. And when the plum trees were heavy with fruit, the visitors watched Carlitos and Isabella return to Valentina's old home, for the tortoises had never forgotten those tasty treats. Because Valentina shared this magical world, when visitors sailed away, they too made a promise to the animals and the islands. We will not forget you, and we will help keep you safe. Author's note. In 2007, I visited the Galapagos Islands where I met Valentina Cruz. Galapagos Girl was inspired by the stories Valentina shared with me about her childhood. Valentina and her entire family have always been involved in protecting the Galapagos Islands. 
Being a naturalist guide was one of Valentina's favorite roles as a biologist. She enjoyed sharing her knowledge, experience, and respect for the Galapagos animals with visitors. The animals and plants of the Galapagos are unique and fragile. Valentina's and my hope is that after reading this book, you too will say, we will help to keep them safe.